everybody, welcome to my channel, Long Time No See, and I actually come here with good news today. I Yesterday, I found out that I passed my NBD part two, and I never have to think about taking NBD again. So I'm super excited, and today I wanna share with you how I studied for NBD and how my NBD actually went. So if you wanna know that, keep on watching. As you know, last March, March 2019, I passed my part one, and I was exhausted after studying for part one. It was really difficult for me, and I thought, okay, I can apply to schools now which I did and I will come back for my part two in like November I would study in November start studying in November or December and take it in March so next year if I didn't get in with just part one I would also have my part two but it was so daunting for me to think that I have this another huge test coming so I decided like okay let's just get it done with in late May early June I started studying for my part two but in early June I also got a full-time job I'm a dental assistant now and if you know if you've ever assisted you know how hard it is you're on your feet all the time and I would come home at around seven o'clock and I had like two hours of brain activity to actually study for this test I was exhausted all the time and actually I believe maybe because of that maybe because of just my education in the past part two was much 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 harder for me than part one most people believe part one is easier and part two uh, part one is more difficult and part two is easier for me it was the other way around I registered to take my test on August 9th and August 10th if you don't know NBD part two is a two-day test it's a 12-hour exam plan accordingly it's really exhausting really long test first day consists of only multiple choice questions there are no testlets no cases to study no pictures just theory and day two is fully consistent of testlets and case studies and you have to diagnose and provide the best treatment so this is a structure of part two I studied for part two for about two months I studied for like a couple hours a day so I barely barely did any studying so I don't have much to tell you in that department I don't know how I passed it don't ask I, I have no idea it's like miracle definitely I have no idea seriously I found a really good book for NBD part 2 and I actually think that was a big part of my success it is called Denton and I believe they make it for part 1 too so look it up if you're studying for part 1 there it's a book that is similar to dental decks but it's not as broad there are definitely much less mistakes in it I felt like the material there was picked correctly according to the tests to the reprints that I was also doing and I thought I could find the answers for the questions in that book. I found that book online, I think on like a forum, I don't even remember, I think it was Student Doctors Network. I just found a p PDF really easily. You would not have any problems. So just Googled the book Denton and PDF, I'm sure you can find it. So I made flashcards that you can see behind me over there a ton of flashcards that i'm about to throw out which is a really great feeling i could i would burn them if i could so these are all the flashcards that i made from that book and i would take them to work with me like phones at my work are kind of frowned upon so i would put some like a small batch of the flashcards into my scrubs and during the work times i would run through them because in part two there's really a lot of memorization needed at least for me because there are a lot of percentages questions a lot of like millimeters and preparations that i wouldn't remember from the top of my head it's not something you just understand once it's something you have to memorize so these flashcards were really helpful for me because I could also study at work. As far as reprints go, you know me, I highly, highly recommended taking a lot of released exams for part one. For part two, it's a little different. There's much less released exams for part two, like significantly less options. I think there are only three on official website. So I obviously didn't buy it from the official website. I went to the website called script.com and you can find everything there um there are dental decks first aid mouse bees for part two so many books and so many resources so i definitely recommend you going there but in one of the files for reprints that i found on script i have a reason to believe the answers were put incorrect deliberately in my opinion so i was doing the test and i saw that i was making like hilarious amount of mistakes i would do like 20 percent correctly and this isn't usual for me so i would google the answers that 
I would pick for the particular questions and I noticed that the answer I picked was correct and the answer that was provided in the file was wrong. So if you meet this file, stay away. You will definitely notice it because it would sound ridiculous to you. You would make a, a horrible amount of mistakes. So if you see that file, I found a similar file with the same questions but correct answers. So just make sure you keep looking and find a lot of options. That is all I used for studying. I seriously didn't study that much. I felt like I didn't study at all, but it was really, really tiring to even take those two hours for me to study. I didn't do good on my reprints. I didn't do them that often. I would do about 50, 49%. Like, you know, I usually like count percentage of my correct and incorrect questions. In part one, I would usually do like 76, 75, which made me believe that I would do okay on the test. But this time I would only do like 50% like top, which wasn't good. So I went on my exam very disappointed, very scared of failing. I wasn't sure that I would pass it at all. Besides, August is a very busy month for test takers. In my test center, I actually went to Rhode Island because I had to go to Rhode Island this time. In Boston, I couldn't find any seats available for my test because it was packed. Boston has three dental schools. Everybody takes their test in August, in summer, so there were a ton of people. And I went to Rhode Island, the state that does not have any dental schools at all. And there were also people there taking NBD, like three or four people were taking NBD with me on the same day. So you can see that scaling really was different when in during my part one in March, there were no one taking the test with me. So obviously my results were more my results, not scaled with anybody else. And this time there were actually a lot of people at the same test center. So around the country, I believe it's just massive amount of people taking it. It was definitely more difficult for me to take the test. You definitely feel those 12 hours. It took me about five hours to take first day. And second day, I think I, I did really fast. I don't even remember, but like an hour and a half and I was done. But I was the first one who left the test centers out of all of those people who were passing it with me. And it actually kind of scared me because like, why are you guys sitting? Why, why are you taking so long? Am I doing something wrong? You know that insecurity feeling? Besides, it's a two day test. So first day you come home and you know that next day you also have to go and take that test. You can't be like, who I'm done. You actually have to sit down and study. And I've found so many mistakes when I started studying for day two, I went back through my to my materials and I found that it's like, ooh, that was incorrect. Ooh, that was incorrect too. So I was really like unhappy about my performance. Yeah, I believe that's all I wanted to tell you about NBD. There's not much else to tell. It's, it's the same test as NBD part one. If you have taken part one, you actually know what to expect. There were not much of a difference there. Um, yeah, I passed, so I guess it all paid off. Maybe it is easier because I barely, barely studied for this. I'm sorry I don't have any more resources for you to recommend uh, as far as studying goes. Now I actually wanted to give you some life updates. I has, have been invited to an interview in University of Oklahoma, and I will be talking a lot about bench test prep, and I will actually talk a lot about how interview went and what happened and what they asked me to do and how the day went. So stay tuned for that. It was actually really difficult for me to find any information on that because I even paid for a really, really, really expensive course online and even that wasn't that helpful. So I will be really, really thorough about that. I will provide as much information for bench test as I can. So definitely stay tuned for that if you have one coming up. It's probably gonna be later because my bench test coming up in, in October. So I hope you guys are having a great day and studying well. And I will definitely see you in my next video.